don't really believe in love. I don't even know what that is. And they say it's um, This is a very personal story, and it could be the story of anyone. Move against our delicate bones. I think asking questions is kind of brave. I can't say that I found the answers. I can't say that I succeeded in creating the truth. But at least I succeeded in creating a certain landscape that you can gaze into and allow your thoughts to roam, if you, if you like. And I'm truly happy about that. I met Aniki and Aryan in Turkey, in Istanbul, when they were on the Acoustic Gentle Storm Tour, and I guess I had the time of my life. And we agreed back then that when the opportunity allows everyone, we will um, do something together. I will feature them on my work, and. Um, I had no idea back then that it's gonna happen this fast, especially that Aniki is very busy with her tour and everything. But when I started working on the album, I sent her an email and, and I told her that I can't, you know, do this without her voice. I wanted this kind of expression, the kind of voice that she had, the kind of personality that she had to actually be able to deliver the message the right way. As for Aryan, I think it just came naturally. Um, I mean, we were alike, we just agreed. We agreed on everything. We agreed on what to do and how to do it and it went very smoothly. Apart from the international singers, um, there is Elia, which for me is an international artist, but he lives next door. That's, that's the difference. And it was, of course, natural that I would work with him again, because I understand him and his voice inside out. He understands me and my work inside out. I started recording with Marco, I guess, two years ago. We were demoing stuff. When Death is Just a Feeling was written, I knew that for a certain type of song, he's the guy for it. And I didn't even have to ask. I just sent him the music and I was like, you know what to do. I sent him my ideas of drums and of course he took them to the next level. And then came Tomorrow Lies. I need a different sound, different drumming, different character. And Jimmy Keegan came to mind. I spoke to him over the phone for like half an hour and told him, listen, I have this. This is the first time we, we actually work together or even speak together. Would you, would you be interested in doing, that, in doing it? And he actually said yes before even hearing the material. And then in the next couple of days, I sent him the song and we started working. It was very um, smooth and natural as if we've been working together for, for a long time. Of course, I recorded the guitars, the acoustic guitar, the electric guitar, and um, using different um, techniques to capture different sounds. And I played bass and all the keyboards as well. I wanted to play them the way I heard them in my head. I didn't want anyone to alter anything about the, the instruments. And yeah, it, believe it or not, me working with me doesn't go as smooth as me working with other people. So um, it wasn't easy to put my, my thoughts into, into music. And I kept fighting with myself uh, until this is just a feeling. 
um, came together. The cover art is something that I'm truly proud of. I needed everything to express the story, not only the music, not only the lyrics, not only the, the voices. I wanted a visual representation of what I had in mind. The designer, Rula Isa, actually got very involved. It actually served what I wanted very well. Not a cover art to complement the work, but a cover art to complete the work. When I, when I have something to say, I will say it. My, my future plans is to talk, is to talk to you, um, to tell you my stories and to put them in words and music and visuals and whatever way possible. Ironically, I'm happy about death. It's just a feeling. And I hope you keep on supporting my music and my art in general. Thank you very much.